Have you ever wondered why it is called testicle? Testicle comes from the Latin word testis, which means witness. But why? Let's go back in time, all the way back to the Indo-Europeans, where the word testis originated from the word tritostoi, which meant a third person standing, or better said, a witness. But witness of what? Some say witness of sex, and some say witness of the creation of life. Both might be true, but digging down into history reveals some other possible explanations for the relationship among testis, testicle, and witness. For example, both the Old and New Testament hold references in which taking an oath or building trust was done by holding each other's testicle. For example, in the Genesis we have, If now I have found favor in your sight, put your hand under my tie and promise to deal loyally and truly with me. Further down the road, it seems that the practice was modified to holding one's own testis during court or taking an oath. It is good to know that the word testify also comes from the word testis. So you should actually hold your testicle when you testify before a committee. I have never seen such action other than in soccer. Interesting, right? But what if a female wanted to take an oath or swear? That will be weird. In fact, maybe that's why the legal system was male-centered for years. Even more interesting, this action is not exclusive to humans. It has been found in other primates like baboons, who fondle each other's testicle as a sign of trust and alliance. Anyway, testis means witness, and whether it was a witness of sex, creation of life, alliance, or taking an oath, it seems to be in his best interest to remain silent.